Hello everyone, this is Protosilos, also known as Prot. In this video, I want to talk to you about SXHKD, a companion program for my tiling window manager, BSPWM, the binary space partitioning window manager. SXHKD is a program that stores uh, hotkeys. It stands, the name stands for Simple X Hotkey Daemon or Demon. And uh, this is a tool that has been developed by the same person who has written BSPWM, but it can be run um, independent of the window manager. It can be run in other desktop environments as well. Uh, but I am using it with BSPWM. So what I will show you now is that I will uh, open an, uh, a new file and uh, I will be showing you the syntax of SXHKD, how you would uh, assign hotkeys with which you can control uh, the window manager as well as uh, uh, spawn uh, other kind of processes, launch different programs for instance. Uh, in its simplest form, this is a hotkey. Uh, so the line, uh, the first line is the key sequence and then the second line which must uh, start with the tab character or uh, an empty space is the command that corresponds to it. So in this example here, super and the return key will uh, spawn an instance of X term. So this means uh, hold down super and press the return key and this will launch X term. Super is the, is the key that has the Windows logo on the most uh, of the commercial, of the commercial uh, keyboards. And the return key is also known as uh, enter. Same concept here, you can pass any kind of key to it, of course. Uh, Super and Def, for example, will spawn Firefox. Um, but rather than do things like this, uh, assigning each key individually, you can assign them in parallel by using curly braces. So in this example here, I create, let me first write it, and then I can tell you what I'm doing here. So this is an array, and this array here corresponds to the array in the part below. And what this means here is the first key corresponds to the first command, and the second key to the second command, and so on uh, for how many you define. So in this example here, if I press super and return, I spawn x term, super and def, I spawn Firefox. So this one is the same as the above two, but in a more compact uh, form. I can do now something like this. I can create a conditional behavior for a modifier key. So I can write li something like this, super and shift, and I will explain to you what this is. Uh, sorry, the return. And what this will do is that I can tell it So what this does is, what this syntax does here is, if I press super and return, it will run the first uh, command here, the first part here. Whereas if I press super and shift and return, it will run the second one. This is close to what I actually have in my own, uh, in my own config, which is if I press super and return, it will spawn an instance of uh, the, the running terminal uh, with a Tmax already set up. So let me show you in practice. If I go to a new desktop, a new workspace, and I press now super and return, it will bring up exactly the kind of window I was looking at uh, earlier. So here we are, it's a mirror of the session I have in desktop number one. If I go to desktop number one, you see here, I am in desktop number one and I see the same thing Desktop number two, same thing again. It's the same Tmax session. So I close this. I go back to window number to desktop number one. If I press super and shift and return, I will spawn uh, terminals X term. And this is exactly what is defined here. What this thing tells us. Uh, you can do then. These are these are all within the confines of um, ordinary key chords. But you can also let me clear this. You can also have what is called key chord uh, chains. So let me show you what a key chord chain is. So you can have something like this. And then let's have something like this, simple. 
super and dex and then a set of keys that you want to pass and uh, then you can write something like this let's simply c++ so what this he thing here does is uh, it, it tells uh, sxhkd if you press super and x and then you release super and x and press any of the keys within the curly braces you will run the corresponding command uh, here so if i press super x and then one if i press that sequence i will spawn a terminal running mat super x2 newsboat and so on Again, this is similar to what I have in my own definitions. Not these exact keys, but the same idea. And these are the key chord chains. Of course, you can write more complex chains, so you can have something like this. Uh, okay, I will make it a bit ridiculous so that you see what we are uh, doing. This is perfectly valid syntax. Uh, you are doing the same as above but with just more key presses so super and x and then g and then super and one of the keys uh, here and this will execute the corresponding command below of course there is no point in defining uh, such long uh, key chord chains uh, because usually one one uh, part of the chain is enough uh, to run the second part why key chord change? Why this thing matters? Because uh, once you start defining all sorts of keys for all sorts of uh, applications and tools, you will eventually run out of keys. If you keep on writing definitions such as this, this one, the simple ones, you, you will at some point run out of keys. You will run short. Whereas uh, by creating chains, you can, for example, uh, this is similar to what I have in my own definition, if you have, you can, for example, scope commands. So super and x, for example, uh, can stand for your executables. And this will run whatever I have in the terminal. Whereas uh, super and g, and then one, two, three, can uh, be something completely different. So I can run uh, Firefox, uh, Thunderbird, and uh, Kaha, the file manager. Uh, okay. And uh, okay, you see here that I can use the keys one, two, three with a completely different uh, syntax, with a completely different definition. They have a different scope, they apply to different things. This is what makes key code chains very powerful. And of course, you don't, you don't have to use just super and G. You can use uh, however, uh, how many modifier keys you wish. Uh, next up, you can type something like this. Uh, you can, and then you can do, actually, let me show you. Let's remove this so that you can see them side by side. So a key chord chain is defined by the semicolon sign. So what is to the left of the semicolon sign uh, activates the chain and then the program waits for you to keep on pressing whatever is to the right of the key colon of the column sign. Whereas here it's sorry, the semicolon sign. The semicolon is for key chord chains. Whereas here we have the column sign. Uh, this is similar to the key chord chain, so you would press super and x, but then uh, you will, you will, the program will listen to you, to your key presses, and will continuously listen to them. So you can press super and x, and this will enter the mode that listens to key presses. So press super and x, and then one, two, three will keep on spawning the commands that you have assigned below without having to press super and x again. You don't have to press the whole uh, chain, just the tail of the chain, the, the final part of it. Uh, obviously, it wouldn't make uh, any sense to spawn several uh, terminals running the same program over and over. It's just uh, for the sake of this demo that I am showing you this. Let me show you some actual examples so that you can uh, get a, a hang of it and uh, to have a better idea of what we are doing here. Let's go through the, the syntax I showcased uh, already and uh, let's have a look at this one here. So these are the, this is for controlling the directional focus. 
So by default, if I press super and uh, the, the direction key is for Vim, so H, J, K, L, I will move focus in uh, any of the cardinal directions. So let me see here. So I am here now, the, the blue border. And if I press super and uh, the Vim keys, I am moving around. So uh, while holding down super, I press H, J, K, L. Whereas if I press super and shift, and then the directional keys, I will, let me just do this. I, if I press super and shift, I will swap the focused window with the window that is in the given direction. So I am swapping this window with the one in that direction. Very nice. Let's delete those. Uh, same concept here. If I press super and uh, the numbers, one, two, through 10, through zero, I move to the corresponding uh, desktop. Because I have only six desktops here, workspaces, I, uh, any key up to six will work. So if I press super and two, I move to the workspace to desktop number two. Whereas if I press super and shift and number two, I will move the focused window in workspace number two. And I can see here the indicator that has popped up, the caret sign, which is informing me that desktop number two is currently occupied. So if I move to that desktop, I can see that the window I sent to it is right here waiting for me. Now I have another key, uh, key sequence, where, whereas I, whereby I send the window in a given desktop and follow it uh, in one key press. So I press super control and shift and then a number and I press number one. So I am here in desktop number one with the window uh, coming along with me. So let's uh, delete that. We don't need to do it. This, this is the, the command I executed last. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I expand or contract in the given direction. This is uh, the uh, I can do something like this. So if I press super and control and then the directional keys, I am growing or uh, shrinking um, the window. And I can do it up and down as well. Very good. This is simple because here I have, you see, I have two modifier keys here and then H, J, K, L, the array of what to do. Uh, Similar, nah, let me show you something something a bit better now. With, uh, with the, continuous, uh, the, the continuous input mode, so this thing here. So if I press, ah, let's spawn some windows. If I press, uh, no, actually before I show you the continuous node, sorry, sorry about that, the continuous mode. Before I show you that, let's have a look at this one, the dynamic gaps. So if I press super and shift, and uh, either of the bracket keys, I will uh, increment or decrement the size of the gaps. So I press now super and shift and the right bracket, and this will increase the size of the gaps. And if I press the uh, super shift and the left bracket, it decrements it, it uh, decreases the size of the gaps. Now I can do the same thing without holding down the modifier keys. I can press, if we come here, if we come to this uh, thing here, sorry, this one here. I can press super and C, and then release super, and press either of the bracket keys. So I will press now super and C, and I have released uh, the super key, and I now press the brackets, le le bracket left and bracket right, and this performs uh, the exact same action as before and I can exit the continuous input mode by pressing the escape key. And then here we are. Very nice. Um, I believe that covers it. That's the, that's the gist of it. Uh, SXHKD is a very powerful program um, because it uses a very flexible syntax, a very smart way of defining uh, hotkeys. Uh, and uh, because of that, you can, uh, you can use a, a small set, a relatively small set of uh, modifier keys with which you can define a large set uh, of hotkeys. And they have all sorts 
of uh, hotkeys. These are specific. This specific file uh, is uh, controlled uh, BSPWM, and I have another one uh, which is for launching programs and doing other things. For example, have a look at this. This thing here. The whole thing here. So uh, you see, I have I have super and E, and then all sorts of keys here which perform the corresponding action. So super and D and then C will uh, uh, kill or, or run the display compositor. Uh, and then the same for the rest below. Same concept and that's it. I believe that covers it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, SXHKD is part of my custom desktop uh, session running BSPWM. This is, uh, these are all bundled with my dot files and uh, my dot files in case you are interested to have a look uh, are available, let me see here, gitlab.com forward slash prodesilas forward slash dot files. Um, in that repository, I have uh, in the readme of that repository, I have links to uh, a book that I have published which provides you with a detailed guide on how you too can reproduce my custom desktop session. The book is free of charge and uh, freed from traditional copyright restrictions, so you can do whatever you want with it. That's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention.